25 game-changing Madden tips that you need to know about. We're going to go over some simple stuff that you may have never heard about before, all the way up to some advanced stuff that will help you win more games. And hey, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on for more tips just like this. Number one, when you're in practice mode, you need to move the ball around for different reasons. Now, most people press the start button and go to the respot ball option, but there's a much quicker way that you can actually do this. If you take your left joystick and you click it in as if it was a button, but also press the left trigger or the L2 button at the same time, you click both of those at the same time, and then you can move the ball freely without having to pause the game, and it saves you a lot of time. Number two. Now to go along with this, when you want to pick a new play in practice mode to mess around with, most people will press start and they'll go to choose new play. Now again, there's a much quicker way to do this that will save you a ton of time when you're in the lab practicing new plays. So instead of doing that, you can just simply hit the select button and it'll take you right back to the play call screen without having to start the game. You can also use this in game when calling timeout. Instead of pausing the game to call a timeout, you can just hit the select button and it'll do the same thing. Number three how to stop drag routes and flat routes. People complain about this all the time, especially when they're in zone defense. You'll notice zone defenders tend to drop too far back and it lets you hit the drags underneath and get a bunch of yards after the catch. Well, if you want to stop this, you want to shade your defense underneath. When you're in zone, you can press wire triangle and then select down on the right stick. That's going to tell your zone defenders to play more shallow and underneath. Now watch when we try to run the same play and hit the drag route. Look how the defenders are right there to wrap them up, knock the ball loose, or even maybe get an interception. Now you're going to give up some of the deep stuff on the field when you shade underneath, but this is what you want to go to if someone's just trying to spam underneath routes, shade down and you will take them away every time. Number four. Now on the flip side, sometimes you want to shade over top to stop from getting beat on streaks, especially if you're running like a man blitz or something like this. Notice that a good receiver will get off the press and then look what happens. He gets a huge play, maybe even a touchdown. So in these situations where you want to make sure not to give up the deep pass, you press wire triangle. This time you're going to select up on the right stick and watch how the cornerback bails immediately. He doesn't try to press. He instead gets back with the receiver and now he's able to go get an interception and defend the deep pass. Really quickly before we finish with the rest of the list i do want to let you know that i officially launched my patreon page if you want to help support the channel there's going to be a ton of extra weekly content going on that page all of the best money plays in the game the best blitzes the best schemes my ebooks pretty much everything you need to go from a beginner to intermediate madden player which i teach you here on this channel to take you to an advanced level to where you can dominate online and win the majority of your games if you want to help support the channel link is below in the pinned comment number five the effectiveness of the qb sneak in the goal line formation you can find the qb sneak in every playbook this is going to be crucial on anything that's third and one, second and one, fourth and inches. You're going to probably get a yard, a yard and a half because the QB sneak is very powerful this year. Unless your opponent knows the specific exact way to stop it, this is going to guarantee you the yardage you need in short situations. Number six, how to slide and give yourself up with your players. Now, first with the QB, when you're on the run, you want to tap the extra square button to slide and go down. You want to make sure you have at least five yards between you and the nearest defender because if you try to slide too late, you could get sucked into a tackle like you're going to see right here and that could lead to a fumble now if you have a receiver or a running back and you want to do the same thing it's the same way you just tap x or square before you get near the defender this will help avoid fumbles especially late in games if you don't want to get hit sticked just go down Number seven, the effectiveness of halfback out routes. This is one of the best routes in the game this year. To put your halfback on an out route, you hit the wire triangle button, select his icon, and then you use the left joystick. You can put him on an out to the left or out to the right, whichever side you want him to go to. Now, this is one of the most powerful routes in the game this year. It does a really good job at absolutely destroying man defense, and it usually finds an opening against most zone defenses as well. And this is one of those routes that, you know, even human opponents have a tough time defending. You can see, look at the separation we got right there against the man defense now we're going to show a zone defense usually you can get underneath the zone and then catch and run just like that it is one of the most annoying routes in the game this year so on any given play utilize this to pick up easy easy yards in the passing game and frustrate your opponent Number eight, the most effective run in the game, the stretch run. You can find these in your playbook by going to concept and going to outside zone. That is where you'll find all of your stretch runs. And this is just always one of the best runs in Madden. It has a lot of home run potential to the outside. It usually has very good blocking. It's one of the harder runs to set up defense to stop, especially if you have a good running back and a good offensive line. This run can be a nightmare. You can cut it up the middle. You can break it to the outside. You kind of just have to follow your blocking and trust it. And if you do, you will have big runs all day long long and you will be frustrating your opponent pretty much for the entire game so definitely make sure you're taking advantage of this run in Madden 22. 
Number nine, the best pass play in the game, the gun bunch offset double post. You can find this in the Colts playbook and it's absolutely amazing. What you want to do is take your slot receiver, put him on a drag and that's it. You do that by pressing wire triangle, selecting his icon and then pressing down on the right stick. And you've got a ton of pass options that are really good. You can hit that exact drag route right there and it's usually going to do a good job against man or zone. Now on the other side, crossing over the middle, you have the running back, which is also very effective versus man and zone for a big gain. You you can quick pass your tight end if he's open and use him as a flat route to get up the field and then of course last but not least you're gonna have this post route that's gonna cook most defenses as well number 10 flipping your play right before you hike the ball we're gonna use the same play we were just using to show this now what you want to do is press the X or the square button and then you press the right trigger or the R2 button and that will flip your play and the thing about this that's so good is how quickly they flip and this makes it extremely hard on the defense because if the defense has set up to defend your play the way it's lined up you can wait until they set up and then at the last second you flip your play right as you're ready to hike you want to hurry up flip the play they're going to flip and under you know three seconds pretty much and then you can hurry up snap the ball and it allows you to take advantage of the defense because they will not be able to reset up their adjustments that quickly and you can get big yards number 11 the best ball carrier move in the game the precision spin the way you do this is you hold the B or circle button down and you also hold up on the left joystick at the same time this precision spin will almost guarantee that you make the first defender miss in the open field and that will turn your play into a much bigger play allowing you to get extra yards Number 12, the easiest beginner blitz in the game. You want to go to nickel normal double A gap or nickel 245 double A gap. They're basically the same formation and one of them is in every playbook. And you want to select the play mid blitz. Now why this is good is because a lot of people don't like to block extra people. So if they send everybody out on routes, you have six rushers versus their five blockers. Basic math says you have a guy off the edge free and you get to the QB super, super fast off the edge and it doesn't give them time to pass. Now you want to make sure that you're using the guy that's manned up on the running back it's usually going to be one of the safeties if the running back goes out you want to run with him but if they block the running back it will slow up the blitz but you want to use her over the middle and allow the pass rush time to get home Number 13, here's a trick to make your pass rush better. Notice right here, we're just rushing four people and look how much time the offense has to pass, step up into the pocket. There's no block sets happening. Well, if you pass commit, it actually makes your pass rush better. To do this, you press the RB or R1 button and then you press up on the right stick. Now, pass commit is normally used to tell your defense to focus on the pass and not be fooled by play action. But what this also does is as you can see, it allows your rushers to shed blocks a lot easier. Don't really know why this is the case but you'll notice if you do this you get quicker block sheds every time number 14 how to make longer field goals now notice right here we're lined up for a 57 yard field goal and notice the little circle at the end of the kick arc notice how it's under the crossbar even if we kick with full power and perfect accuracy we're going to come up a few yards short because we did not adjust the kick meter now if you press the right joystick and you hold it all the way down notice how that little circle jumps up when we hold it down and if we let it go regular the circle is under the crossbar you want to hold this down and then you'll notice you kick more of a line drive kick and now notice how you can easily make that 57 yard field goal and the ball travels much further number 15 don't use turbo when running the ball unless you're in the open field right here we're not hitting turbo we're just holding down the joystick and we're maneuvering it allows you to maneuver better turn quicker make adjustments and it also helps against the defense block shedding when you hold turbo right away the defense tends to block shed quicker now right here is when we would hold turbo once we've made our cut and we have a ton of green grass in front of us and no nearby defenders that's when we hit turbo and try to pull away this is especially important when you're doing things like halfback dives right here you want to be able to maneuver through the tight lanes you don't want the defense block shedding only hold turbo when you're in the wide open field number 16 you want to go for the swat instead of the interception when you're one-on-one -on -one with a tall receiver because this year when you go for interceptions a lot of times your cornerback will not animate he'll just stand there and it'll allow the receiver to aggressive catch on you for a big gain so instead you go for the swat by holding the square or the x button when the ball gets near the receiver you're defending it's lower risk and it'll allow you to live to see another down and not give up a big gain. 
Number 17, I'm going to show you another good running back hot route that is super dominant, and it's the option route. Now, to put your running back on an option route, you press the Y or triangle button, you select his icon, and then you press the left trigger or the L2 button. The option route kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If it is a zone defense, typically he will curl and spot up underneath, and you can throw it for a five to seven yard gain. But if it's a man defense, he will actually break towards the sideline on a deep out route, and he will always cook his defender and get a big gain just like like this. Number 18, the best thing to do against a scrambling quarterback. First, you want to take a defender, put him in a spy by pressing the A button and then going left on the right joystick. Now, when the QB breaks the pocket and he starts to scramble, you want to click your right joystick in as if it was a button and you'll see it'll send the spy rushing at the QB, stop him in his tracks and will not allow him any yards. Number 19 is going to be a tip that helps you actually scramble with the QB. Now, this is against people that just like to use contains. What you want to do is you want to first block your tight end by pressing the wire triangle button, select his icon, and then press the right trigger or the RT button. Then you want to use the double team mechanic on the outside pass rusher. So you do this by pressing the LB or L1 button. You press down on the right joystick, and then you move this little D2 icon over with your left joystick. You put it on the outside rusher. He will get double teamed, and then you can roll out and break the pocket. Even if they put this guy in a contain, this will double team the contain and allow you to break out. So if you don't use the previous tip, you won't be able to stop scrambling QBs when they use this tactic. Number 20, this is an important coaching adjustment you need to make. Now on the new consoles to pull up your coaching adjustments, you click the right joystick in as if it was a button. If you're on the old consoles at the beginning of your play call screen, there's a coach suggestion tab. Now the coach suggestion we're talking about here is the auto flip defensive play call. A lot of times this is off. You want to make sure this is on so that your defense is always properly aligning with the offense because if it's off, you might have your nickel back opposite side the slot receiver and that's no good for you. Number 21, using the ball carrier coaching adjustment on conservative. This is a big pro tip. Now, with the ball carrier adjustment, you can leave it on balance, conservative, or you can put it on aggressive. Now, on aggressive, you will break more tackles, but you have a higher chance of fumbling. But the tip here is you want to use this on conservative because this pretty much makes it impossible for you to fumble. So you eliminate one of the biggest risks in the game, one of the biggest ways to turn the ball over. You can't use ball carrier moves, but you can't fumble. And especially if you're late in games, you always want this on. Number 22, we're going back to the coaching adjustments on the defensive side of the ball so I can show you how to stop the deep annoying routes. You want to go to your zone drop flats, put them on 25, then you want to select a Tampa 2 defense. Now, this is good for long yardage situations, especially where people are trying to spam those deep corner routes or deep crossing routes that are almost impossible to defend. Notice how our deep zone, because we set him 25 yards back, he gets back there with the deep corner route and swats it. Same thing for deep crossing routes. Y'all know how hard these are to defend? Not if you put your zone drops back on your flats to 25 and call a Tampa 2. He's right there to make a play. Number 23, the effectiveness of no huddle. It's really good this year because it really doesn't tire out your offense. So when you have a successful play, you can immediately hold the wire triangle button right after you get tackled and look how quickly you line up and can snap the ball. It makes it hard for your opponents to make adjustments on defense, but also the fatigue of the offense isn't that bad with no huddle this year. So it's kind of something that you can take advantage of and make it tough on the defense. Number 24, an important setting that you must have on. So to get to your settings, you can go all the way over to this gear icon here on your main menu. You want to pull this up. You want to select game options. You want to make sure you scroll down and you want your heat seeker assist toggled to on. You also want your defensive ball hawk toggled to on as well. Now the defensive seat heaker assist will help you make a lot more tackles in the open field. It's kind of a cheat code and the ball hawk will help on interceptions. Make sure both of these are always on. Number 25, how to get the updated version of your team's playbook. When you're at the team selection screen and you hit the A or X button, you can scroll down to something that says advanced settings, and then you have an NFL live playbook option. If you toggle this to on, you will get the updated version of your playbook that has more plays, updated formations, and everything like that. So you basically have two versions of your playbook. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Check out some of these other videos right here on the screen, and I will see you guys next time.